Two of the important blood vessels of the fetal Doppler are the umbilical artery and the fetal cerebral artery. A Doppler quantifies vascular blood flow rate and direction in the form of a graph. See this graph, the bigger peak denotes velocity in the systole and the lower part denotes blood flow in the diastole. Blood flow velocity in the umbilical artery will be higher during cardiac systole when the heart contracts, right? And it will be opposite during the diastole. Umbilical artery is carrying blood from the fetus to the placenta. If there is utero-placental insufficiency, that is, resistance of blood flow is increasing in the placental vascular beds, resistance will increase in the umbilical artery as well. This will be reflected as decreased blood flow during the diastole. Systolic blood flow remains same, but diastolic blood flow starts to decrease as there is utero-placental insufficiency. This will be evident by an increasing S by D because of fall in diastole. Pulsatility index, which is systolic blood flow minus diastolic blood flow upon the mean blood flow will also increase because the difference between systole and diastole is decreasing. So this is one of the first findings that you see in utero-placental insufficiency. It is called high resistance flow in the umbilical artery. Further, if the utero-placental insufficiency increases, there will be absent diastolic blood flows and further, if there are more changes, if you know placental insufficiency increases, there will be reversal of blood flow during diastole in the umbilical artery. Both absent and reversal of blood flow during the diastole in umbilical artery are indications for delivery, especially if the baby is more than 34 weeks. Now coming to the brain sparing part. What happens is when the fetus senses that it is getting less blood from the placenta, it starts to redistribute its blood supply. More blood is given to the brain. Now this is seen on the Doppler as low resistance flow in the middle cerebral artery. That is the changes in the MCA are exactly the opposite of the changes that are happening in the umbilical artery. The MCA diastolic blood flow will increase so that the S by D ratio will decrease and the pulsatility index will also decrease. Now we calculate a cerebroplacental ratio as MCAPI on umbilical PI. If the fetal heart is supplying more blood to the brain, MCAPI or resistance will be low. And if it is getting less blood from the placenta, umbilical artery PI or resistance will be high. So the cerebroplacental ratio will be less than 1. This indicates utero-placental insufficiency with brain sparing. Now listen to the video again and tell me, does fetal brain sparing have any long-term effects on fetal brain development in the absence of more severe umbilical artery changes? 